This week, we shall be repaying a visit to the one and only Sanya Haichang Fantasy Town. The fun and games on offer here will ensure that your day is an action-packed one. Where we shall sample the multifarious additions to its repertoire. It's faster than I thought! Delight in its culinary finery. A delicious, <laughs> crunchy, savoury snack. Add to our knowledge of marine conservation. And paint the town until well into the night. February in Sanya already feels like summer. Its pleasant temperature makes it the hottest place to be this season. As one of the country's most popular tourist towns sporting a wealth of tourism resources, Sanya is graced by sightseers all year round. By day, gaze at the white clouds, blue sea and golden beaches. By night, there is beer, barbecue and seafood waiting for you. Sanya is sure to be able to satisfy your every woman fancy, be it visual or gustatory. All of this means that Sanya is able to offer visitors an abundance of tourist activities. If you'd like to spend your whole day in one location, then Sanya Haichang Fantasy Town would be the perfect choice. The fun and games on offer here will ensure that your day is an action-packed one! Fantasy Town is located within the Haichang Bay tourist area, itself awash with fun things to do. You can experience culture, leisure and entertainment all rolled into one here. Fantasy Town is an immersive tourism and cultural complex, taking the ocean as its theme. This is my second visit to Fantasy Town. I wonder what new offerings it has. Join me as I go and find out. You don't have to pay to come into the park, but the rides themselves are charged. Now you can either pay for your rides or activities individually, or you can buy an all-inclusive ticket. The choice is yours. This is your ticket. Thank you. And now the fun really begins. Coming here over a year later, I notice many changes and additions to the town. One of these is a thrilling new roller coaster. You probably think that sharks being the top of the marine food chain are all fierce and scary. Have you ever wondered what it might be like to ride shark back? Well, this roller coaster promises to provide punters with an equally exciting adventure. Off we go! Bye! The track is 270 meters long and in the shape of a figure of eight. Oh, it's faster than I thought! Cartoon shark carriages coupled with all manner of ocean-themed paraphernalia along the way make for a truly underwater experience. That was a thrill and a half, I can tell you. Now this ride is suitable for people 1.1 meters or over. And if you miss the fun the first time, then you have a second chance, so don't worry about that. Flying through the air high above the town is an equally electrifying alternative. To be eligible for this ride, you have to weigh 90 kilograms or less, so I should be okay. Oh dear, and the fun is now beginning. Swingers hurtle through the air at a speed of 0.8 meters per second and at a height of 50 meters. There we are. Well, my feet are nice and cool anyway. Oh, you can see for miles around. Absolutely super views. Look around here and look around there. Woo! Overlooking the lively environs and the sparkling sea in the distance, I relish the feeling of weightlessness. Well, that was all over a little bit too quickly for my liking, but the views from up there were absolutely superb. I mean, it must be, I don't know, almost 100 meters up there. And you can see for miles around the mountains, the seas, the golden beaches, beautiful, well worth a look. Not only are there pleasures galore for big kids, there are plenty of activities for the younger ones among us too. Here I am at the children's driving school, ready to have my first road proficiency lesson all over again. Remember to buckle up before setting off on every trip. Are you ready? Get set, go! This is an ideal chance to impart some valuable driving knowledge and awareness to your little ones. Alongside the children's driving school, this attraction is also appropriate for the tinier tots. Oh, a bit of an undulating movement there, as though we were 
floating on the waves at sea. Multicolored little cars move slowly along the track. The up and down movement gives riders the impression of bobbing on a sleepy sea. Oh, this is a lovely bit of gentle fun, particularly suitable for a parent and child. Well, this fun looking ride combines clowns and hot air balloons with a South American twist. Welcome to the Samba Ball. Oh, this is quite fun. This is fun for the little ones, I think. Being swept up in the non-stop dance fever is one of the appeals of the Samba Ball. And it's great because it's got this little thing in the middle where you can, you can pull it and the, the little teacup thingy turns. Hey, hey, you can turn it like that, you see? Hey, and it spins around. Great fun. Ah, oh, I wish I were a kid again. Travelling into outer space is probably most children's dream. This large elephant-themed flying saucer looming above me is just one of many such spaceships on this ride. Their different shapes, colours and sizes really seize the children's imagination. This interstellar spacecraft allows passengers to traverse the space-time continuum and fly amid a sea of stars. And we're off! If I press the pedal, apparently I fly upwards. So let's try it out, shall we? One, two, three. Whoa! We have liftoff! Oh, I'm, I think I'm too high now. Hi! There's a bit of a centrifugal force here. I'm a Tycho naught. Ah, we're going to the detail. And Chen Lodila. Here at Fantasy Town, all guaranteed to please anyone from anywhere, anytime. Walking through the park, you can see little nods to sea creatures all around. At Fantasy Town, guests will notice sweet and fluffy cartoon characters at every turn, delighting the whole family. On this wall are gathered together all of Fantasy Town's cartoon mascots. There are seals, sea lions, dolphins, and more. As the park is open to the public, anyone can come right in and make use of this charming little photo opportunity. Bee. If you fancy seeing some sea animals in closer quarters, then look no further than Gaiety Theatre and its outstanding sea lions. And although this is my second time to see this performance, in about a year and a half, there are definitely quite a lot of new elements to it, so it's really interesting. If this is not enough to satisfy your animal cravings, then a trip to Turtle Bay will surely do the job. Feeding the sea turtles not only makes you realize how large and potentially fierce they are, visitors are also able to glean some turtle-based knowledge. This facility doubles as a national turtle conservation and rescue center. The center takes in injured turtles and treats them before returning them to the wild. Ruguoshoman, 由国家二级保护变成了国家一级保护，在我们救助这些案例中，我们也发现海龟吞食异物这个现象非常严重，在这也是呼吁人类减少一次性塑料袋的一个使用。Coming here and seeing the turtles in this state really brings it home the importance of protecting our oceans. Together, we can do it. Turtles and sea lions alike are all well looked after here. As the living quarters are designed to resemble the natural environment as much as possible, dolphins feel equally at home here too. As dolphins grow older, they develop more and more blotches on their bodies. The dolphin's blood is monitored to ensure its good health. 
。每一天早上，我们也会对它进行一个体温的检测。成年的海豚就是通过肛温监测。它正常的体温是多少？成年海豚的体温是在三十六到三十七之间的。Another indicator of health is the color of the inside of the dolphin's mouth, which is checked regularly. 如果说它口腔颜色发白的话，可能说有一个贫血贫血的现象，或者是有感染啊。如果说非常红，嗯，可能说其实它体温比较高。嗯，像正常的颜色是粉红色，啊、粉红色的，对、哎，这个就很正常。三亚海滩 has also taken on the responsibility of rescuing dolphins。在一八年开业到现在，也是救助了十余起。海洋动物搁浅的一个案例。那如果老百姓发现在海滩上面有一个海豚在那儿就就卡住了，应该怎么去救助它呢？第一时间我们可以对它进行一个保湿，或者是对它进行一个遮阳。Now remember, if you find a dolphin stranded on a beach anywhere, you should call the police immediately and remember to try to keep it as wet as moist as possible. Just as people might exercise or dance as a way of regulating mood, so too do dolphins. Jumping through the air to improve their state of mind. Well, I tell you, it always amazes me just how intelligent and adaptable these gentle sea creatures are. It's almost as though that they're in some way communicating with us through their performance and enjoying doing so. Absolutely awesome animals. After the show, children are invited to meet the stars face to face. I just feel that letting kids see these sea creatures can help them to learn more, know more, and also know how to love animals. Into the contact, we haven't seen any animals before. On the one hand, it's to gain their curiosity. On the other hand, I think it's to make every child more comfortable with animals. On the other hand, it's to make every child more comfortable with animals. On the other hand, it's to make every child more comfortable with animals. On the other hand, it's to make every child more comfortable with animals. On the other hand, it's to make every child more comfortable with animals. On the other hand, it's to Haichang Fantasy Town takes as its theme the maritime Silk Road. The flying cinema employs high-tech graphics and techniques to take guests on a magical ride along the ancient Silk Road. Oh, look at this, ancient China. A 270-degree spherical screen and suspended moving seats Give viewers a genuine sense of being part of the animation. Absolutely magnificent graphics. Well, although that was my second time here at the Flying Cinema, it still felt really fresh and new. There are so many wonderful historical elements and details mixed into that production that I reckon if I watch it a hundred times, it still wouldn't get old. But the Flying Cinema is not the only high-tech spectacle. Well, the visual feast and the futuristic theme continues now as we venture into the vastness of space. Come with me. Ah! I'm in another world. All kinds of scenes and themes are woven into the show, from Star Wars-like motifs to the age of the dinosaurs. Oh, this all looks very modern and high-tech, and as though it's going to be a spectacular performance. I can see there's this massive, I don't know, 180-degree screen before me. But not only before me, it's also below my feet. I can see it through the glass here and above my head. Wow! I wonder what it's going to be about. Hmm, me thinks. Chinese culture, perhaps? I don't know. Let's see. Observing from the floor only adds to the viewing experience. Oh. Oh, wow. It's amazing. It's sort of combining fantasy, fiction, mythology, history, and prehistory. Unawares, I become totally drawn into the motion picture. Oh. Oh, wow. What are they? Brontosauruses? Brachiosauruses. Oh, it's, it's very quiet. Well, wow, it's like herds of dinosaurs going across the, the grassland there. Fantasy Town After Dark begins pulsating with lively music and sleek performances, turning onlookers into willing participants. I've been having so much fun here that I'm feeling rather peckish now. I've heard that there's a Chinese food street somewhere in the park. Let's go and see what's being served up. The Chinese food fair brings together ten cooking bigwigs from around the country. Qi Tong Ku is one of them. Tisho Zam Zhe de Dadao Mian Shi Tebi Hao Chi. 对，我们就是河南省的非物质文化遗产，我就是非遗传承人。
，中国就我一个。齐同酷 has been making this kind of noodle for over forty years. 这个面条醒面七十二个小时，全部用鸡蛋清和面，不加任何防腐剂和添加剂，纯属手工工艺。叫大刀面是因为这个刀很大吗？哎，对，就是切的多。The noodles are cut wafer thin, which requires swift and precise movements. 你切的这么细啊，像线一样的啊。就是挂在刀刃上，你看它也不坨也不断。太厉害了！我的父亲、我的爷爷、我的太爷爷一辈一辈的传下来的。那你能不能传给我呢？能。这个手，哎，啊，在这里，哈。你看，这一吞一吞一吞，天哪！那我这个笨手笨脚的人就应该没有太大希望了。慢慢的<笑>有点粗，哎呀，还能出几折吗 ？Bring the water to the boil and add the noodles. When they're done, they float to the surface. This takes just a few seconds. Add to the mix sesame paste, shallots, sesame oil, and a few other secret ingredients, and voila, a steaming bowl of delicious noodles. Oh, they're lovely. There's vinegar, there's sesame, there are, I think, peanuts in there as well. And the best thing is, it's vegetarian. The tradition of making these da dao mian, or literally big knife noodles, goes back hundreds of years. So with every mouthful of noodles I have, I feel as though I'm ingesting hundreds of years of Chinese culture and history. After my noodles, I continue my search for fine cuisine. 哎，我看你这些甜品看起来非常的好吃，很精致的样子啊、哦。这是我们从北京带来的梨打滚这是爱窝窝，这是红豆沙绿豆糕。嗯，哇，这个很有特色哈、哦。嗯，这都是用那个江米面做的，而且一层一层那种，哦，都好吃。Mr. Zhang is kind enough to teach me how to make a staple in Beijing households over the New Year period: the nine-layer meat pancake. 那这个肉泥里面有什么东西呢？以猪肉为主，然后加一些大葱啊，嗯啊都可以，挺好的。调肉馅的时候呢，哎，把基本的调味把它加里，像油啊、盐啦、啊、嗯啊、料酒、豆豉。First, the meat paste is spread evenly on the pastry. Then four incisions are made. It is then folded into nine layers, whence its name originates. 对吗？哦呀，天哪！再往前，哎，再往前，哎，对，哎 ，OK，OK，、okay, okay, 完全对，好,好、哎，完全对。The folded pancake is then gently pressed down, placed into the pan, and fried until golden brown. The sound of the crispy pancake being cut really sets my juices flowing. 嗯，哇，好烫！嗯，刚出锅，刚出锅的比较热。嗯 ，a delicious, crunchy. Savory snack. Well, this little Chinese food festival that they have going on here has given me loads of insights into the deliciousness and the variety of Chinese cuisine. I'm learning something new all the time. For example, this is not only the first time for me to make, but also to eat this beautiful savory snack from Beijing. These tantalizing snacks aside, Fantasy Town provides all manner of tasty tidbits from barbecued foods to Hainan specialties, guaranteed to satisfy every palate. After having eaten this, it is time. For a post-repast stroll, at set times, dances are performed at different spots around Fantasy Town. Among them is this charming ethnic number. As you may remember, I've done the Danjiu Xiaoyao before, but it was different to this one.、Oh. <laughs> The motor parade is an extravaganza unto itself. It reminds me of the film Mad Max. Wonderful. I'm not quite sure what style it is, but、uh, it's certainly a very interesting one. Well, I can tell you that as soon as these cars have come out, the music's come up, and so is the atmosphere. The Chinese fashion show is replete with traditional elements. Well, these dances just get better and better. It's almost like a modern take on the Chinese classic. Brilliant. And who could forget the carnival procession? Oh, they're coming! Come on, let's march with them for a while. It's the clown and the polar bear. Hey, dobry wieczór, Sierra, Skagiela. I got in again. Oh, 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 naughty! The floats have had a makeover and an upgrade since I was last here. And look at it, it's them again. A couple of dolphins chasing us now. This is amazing. 
and we got some luminescent seahorses in front of us. Oh, goodness gracious me. It's fluorescent seahorses and a dancing bear. The fun never ends. Children are permitted to sit on the floats and take part in the parade. To add to the fun and frolics, there is a magic show that's part of the carnival procession. Haichang After Dark is positively throbbing with vitality, as well as thrill seekers looking for a good time. And they have found it right here. Where better to appreciate the night views than here on the Ferris wheel? The 88 metre high Ferris wheel, the Sanya I, gives passengers a breathtaking panoramic view over Fantasy Town the town that never sleeps. And it is here against Fantasy Town's tinsel-like backdrop that my second visit to this fantastical place reaches its climax. It is my second time here, but there is so much more new to see and do. There is more culture as illustrated in the dance routines and in the culinary delicacies. But most of all, there is family fun to be had by the bucket load. So what are you waiting for? Bring your family here of a weekend and live out all your fantasies. Sanya Haichang Fantasy Town is the go-to place for unbridled fun. Regardless of age, you are certain to find something to tickle your fancy. Fantasy Town, bristling with energy and dynamism, plays an important role in boosting Sanya's night economy, thus making this beautiful coastal city ever more fabulous. This is Hainan Weishi.